All right, guys, I've had a bunch of questions about antifreeze in a trap or a set. And instead of trying to answer them all, I'm just going to try to show it to you up close. I'll do it as quick as I can, but it may take a second. First thing, I'm in West Virginia. So if you're tra trapping in one of them crazy places like Michigan or Canada or Iowa where it's 50 below, you probably want to use wax dirt or something like that. I'm not going to say... You know this this method's going to work there because I've never trapped those locations. All I know is it works here for me, and if you'll use it, I figure uh, it'll probably work for you. One thing I'll mention before we get started: we use peat moss. See how dry it is? I mean, there's dust to it. I get guys all the time saying I'm using peat moss and my sets are still freezing. Well, here's the deal: if you're using peat moss and your sets are freezing, then there's moisture in it. Buy your peat moss early, March and April or whenever, and put it in five gallon buckets or in Tupperwares and put it in your attic. The heat will dry it out to the point where it just floats. That's how you want it. Just reiterating, if you have peat that you go to Lowe's and buy and it's in the cube or Home Depot or wherever, a month before trapping season, it's got moisture in it and it's gonna freeze up on you, okay? Buy your peat moss early and prepare yourself. First thing we do is over in the trap bed. I poke a hole in the middle with a punch, with a dirt hole punch. I take my driver and put two holes on each side and I, that's for moisture. So if you get an inch of rain, the peat moss will do well as far as repelling it. But if it gets in the bottom of your trap bed, you don't want it sitting there. Put you some irrigation holes in the bottom of it so that moisture will fill up in those holes instead of in your trap bed. Next thing we do, ice melt, driveway heat, rock salt, whatever you want to call it. Put it dead in the bed. If you don't do this, and it gets moisture in the bottom, and your, your trap sets in it, and it gets temperatures like we have now, your trap will literally freeze to the ground. Springs, jaw, everything sitting on that ground and that moisture will literally freeze. So at that point, it won't matter what you do above it, your trap will be frozen to the ground when it tries to fire. So I put a layer of rock salt or ice melt in the bottom of my bed, and then I take just a handful of peat and cover it. drive my anchor down to my first swivel because I know that means I got about a foot in the ground. And then once you set it, your last swivel should be basically ground level. Bed your trap. not a trap bedding tutorial but like I always say make sure your trap is bedded in there solid so it's not going to move when that critter steps on it now I use regular table salt they make flake antifreeze. It works fine. I'm a table salt guy. Some guys laugh and make fun because we don't, you know, we don't use the preferred method of flake antifreeze, but this stuff works just as fine. Now listen, use a lot of it. Don't just, oh, the deer are gonna dig me up if I use a lot or the deer are gonna step in my trap. Listen, we don't have any problems. The deer are gonna, if they're gonna get in your scent, they're gonna get in your scent regardless whether you have salt or not. So salt it up. I salt the outside where your jaws are touching, real heavy, down inside my trap bed. And I hear guys say all the time, well, salt's caustic and it's going to eat my traps up. Yes, it's hard on traps. 
you have one of two choices. You can pour your traps and hang them up and stay home, or you can put salt on them and, and ensure that your trap's gonna fire, and then when the season's out, instead of set, letting them set for months before you do anything with them, you take them to the car washer, get your pressure washer out, and really hammer them and clean your traps up and get that stuff off of there and you won't have any problems. I've got traps that I've used for years that, that have been layered in salt, but we never have any issues. I use a trapper's cap, you don't have to, whatever. Next thing you're gonna do, take your peat. You see how that peat's blowing in there? Bone dry. And all I do first, the only place I put it first, is dead inside your jaws. I don't worry about outside or anywhere else. Put it dead in your jaws, take your fingers, and work it down inside your jaws. An insulator, Push, keep, keep pushing it, working it in there. And then take a, more salt, salt your peat heavy, down inside there, and work it again. start building your trap bed up once you get that down inside your jaws good. Again, it's not a trap bed video, but you have to, if you want that solid, more table salt. I put one more layer of peat in there and I'm done. Pull my cap out. Cover that up just a hair. Technically right now the only really soft spot in this trap bed is right where my pan is. I take peat, or I, excuse me, I take salt one more time, really heavy. And then this is what I sift, this is what I dug out of the trap bed. It's kind of frozen. But I'll take it and rake it in my sifter. Just just enough to cover the peat a little bit. I don't even always cover it all the way. You don't want a big, heavy covering of dirt. And that's it. And then what I'll do, and I don't think I have my snips. I think they're in Leanne's pack, but. My pack's here. Um... The stuff you just sifted in, Salt it again. And then what I'm gonna do, and I don't have my snips on me, is all this loose stuff like this, anything around the trap, I'm gonna take my whisk broom. I'll do to finish this set is I'll take my snips and I'll find some of this grass just like this. I'll go over here and uncover some snow and pull some of this grass up and then I'm gonna cut it real fine, super fine. You don't want big heavy stuff. I'll cut it real fine and I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't have it on there. But after you get that on there, salt your grass too. Don't salt your whole setup and then put grass or whatever it is you're gonna put on top of it to blend it and not put anything because it will see it will any moisture that we get in terms of rain or the little bit of snow they got coming or we got that's supposed to be coming it'll make that grass wet and when the temperatures drop to zero it's going to freeze it solid it may bind your trap when it fires so even once you put your grass in don't stop 
sift some more salt in on top of it. Anyway, this is how we do it. Again, we're in West Virginia. I don't, I, I don't need messages from folks all over the place saying, hey, that would freeze up in Alberta because I'm not trapping Alberta. This will work if you're in the mountain state, if you're on the east coast, the temperatures, the freeze-thaw weather we get. If you do it this way, nine out of 10 times, your trap's gonna fire and you'll catch your animal. If you need us, holler at us, we'd love to help you. I'll catch you somewhere else down the line.